Utah, give me two. Jack Flaherty, this year's Zach Eflin. Oh, God, I'm no. In, I'm, I'm in. in on it. I I'm can't in. believe I'm in on it. I hate I'm Jack. In. Mike, I loathe Jack Flaherty. I've never drafted him until I drafted him at Glarf last month. Ugh. I really did it. That's how much I believe in Chris Fetter and their pitching staff and their ability to maximize pitching in Detroit. It's not bias. I really don't. I'm not a blind loyalist to the Tigers. I like the Tigers. They've always been my squad. Go Tigers. But I'm not a blind loyalist. I, I hate Chris Illich. I loathe him. He's a piece of shit. He's somebody who exploits the people of this state and Metro Detroit so that he can load up his billionaire coffers. Fuck that guy. But <laughs> Flaherty is going to get the best of what Chris Fetter, the pitching coach of the Tigers, has to offer this year. And I, I like this. I don't know if he'll be Zach Eflin-esque, but okay. I think we'll we'll be looking at a possible breakout. It's like, whoa, Jack Flaherty back from the dead. Let me let me ask you this then. So if 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 he's not Zach Eflin, where like for a fantasy rotation, let's just say from a five man rotation here, where do you see Zach Fl- Flaherty fitting into your rotation wise in terms of this this season? Do you think he's going to be a guy who can finish a as your SP three, four, or five, or even higher than that? That's a great question. Yeah, actually, if I if I look at my squad on Glarf and I say, okay, well, here's my pitching staff. He'd be, he's Jack a Flaherty. great SB four, a, a fantastic, you know, fantastic SB five. If, if you can, if you can swing it, like everybody's so down on him, but he's going to play. Like he's on a one year deal. They're going to run in him into the ground and see yes. what he can do. And he's got every motivation. He's still a young guy. I mean, he was a high prospect. He and Max Fried went to the same high school in California. Oh, but, really? Like, he, He's got that. he's got every this is a one year deal. Now it's a lot of money. It's what like 14, 15 million, but that's not that much for a starting pitcher. He's got every reason in the world to to let it all hang out. He's in Detroit. It's a great place to pitch. And I think the Tigers kind of on the on on the come line. Um so yeah, I, I think Flaherty <laughs> is going to Flaherty's going to be a, a, a good buy. I, I like Flaherty. You got the field and the that. come line in the same show. Nice job. Bro. Yeah, I can okay. do that. I can do that. What's the point? Uh, I thought I thought Get the it. come line. I thought the come line was from the hoe house. I, I didn't know. Where <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Forever, I don't think I ever would have forgave myself. Nice job, Mike. Thank you. Uh, On the what line? The come line, Joe. That's right. Come or don't come, but you got you got to do one or the other. You got to make a choice in front of all those people too. So, uh, look, Mike, if Flaherty gets hurt, then it's a bust. But I'm saying barring injury, and when I'm saying anything, I'm always talking barring injury. So. Sure, of course, yeah. And the only reason why I'm out on Jack Flaherty is for that reason is because he's been hurt uh, for majority of his career. And number two, I, I, I don't, I don't like the walks. The walks kill me. And he's also given yep. up the long ball a lot, even with us when he was with the Orioles for a little bit last year. Um, I just, I just think that the the years of when he first came up with St. Louis, I think those 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 years are gone. I think to your point, I think he's somebody you can get maybe towards the back end of drafts, and he could be a solid SP four or five for your rotations. But um, I, I'm not expecting much, and I don't I don't like the Zach Eflin. Uh, but you're uh, not paying much. That's, that's the true. whole point. You're, you're like a two fifty ADP. Like you, you know, if he works out, great. If he doesn't, he doesn't. He kind of reminds me a lot of Carlos Rodon. Like Carlos Rodon was a health disaster Ooh, with the Chicago White Sox. And then he had a, a couple good years and, you know, cashed it in and we'll see what happens. But Flaherty, it, Flaherty has a, has a decent chance of bouncing back and, and making something of his, you know, pretty young career. 141 innings last year, which gives me a little hope. I'd like to see that, that he was able to at least get that much. If we get 150 innings out of Jack Flaherty this year, I'll take him. That's good enough for me, Mike. It really is. But the walks in the right whip. here on the screen. Is a problem, yeah. He had a 1.58 whip over all those innings with a 10% walk rate. That's not going to cut it. Obviously, you're right about that. But I believe that Fetter will help him work on that and make strides in that department, which he's been able to do. Tarek Skubal has changed and developed and grown. And Love he's Tarek Skubal this year. And even Matt Manning had moments. I know he's gotten hurt a lot, but they... I trust Chris Fetter so much, and maybe this will burn me this year. Maybe the first time I go too far, and I'll talk about it next year. Like, I remember that time it went too far? And I thought Jack Flaherty would be like a top three SP on a rotation for a fantasy team all season long. That Casey was so Mines. dumb. Casey wow, Mines might be dude. back in the mix. He's yeah. looking good in spring training, I hear. He is. They, yeah. There's been some. Check out the... I won't talk about it here, but just talk, check out the Motor City Metrics podcast. Shout out to those guys. Rogelio Castillo, Chris, the Uper, all those guys over there. They know exactly what they're talking about with the Tigers in depth 24-7, plus their minor leagues and their farm system. Really good stuff. And they talked about the improvements and changes that 
biases made, which could be a reason to draft him this year. Yeah. yeah.